Hi there, it's Benji80 here on Benji80 England. Barbie the movie hates men. What a surprise. Well, I'm not actually surprised at all, and I'll come back to that in a minute. Now, other channels have covered this. Other channels that discuss similar topics uh, to what I discuss. Um, and I want to cover it too. I have my own take on it. Uh, Barbie the movie was given a wide release on the 21st of July. As of the 23rd of July, it had made 356 Point four million dollars that makes it a massive hit it did have two days of previews before that but even then within five days over 350 million dollars on a budget of apparently slightly over 100 million dollars that's a hit that's already more than indiana jones 5 has made it's a lot more than the flash made it's not too far off what transformers rise of the beast made rise of the beasts made now as I say, I'm not surprised it hates men. A couple of these channels uh, were surprised and I would have thought they'd know better. Uh, I would have thought they would have seen this coming. But we all have blind spots. Um, I saw it coming a mile off. When I first saw a trailer for it a few months ago, um, I assumed it would be a, a man-hating feminist movie, which it clearly is. Um, the, the main reason I thought that was, well, first of all, it's a Barbie movie that could easily, that subject matter can easily be uh, turned towards feminism and man hating, which it has been. Um, and that was clear to me. But the main reason I could see it was going to be a man hating movie was the fact it stars Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie is clearly a crazed, rabid, man hating feminist and a Hollywood uh, crazy person. Um, Margot Robbie, uh, here's an example of how I know this to be true, and there are multiple examples, but here's one. Uh, when she was promoting her Harley Quinn and Birds of Prey movie, she said that uh, the reason that the uh, her character Harley Quinn and the other female characters in the film were dressed frumpy was because uh, the filmmakers and herself wanted to avoid the male gaze. The the same male gaze that made Margot Robbie into a star in the first place. Now, Margot Robbie is not to my taste. I don't like blondes with blue eyes. I'm not saying I would say no, but she's not to my personal taste. I don't generally like blondes with blue eyes. I think they're overrated, and they also overrate themselves even more than uh, most other women overrate themselves, and that's saying something. Um, so, uh, you know, but... <laughs> She again, she wants to avoid the male gaze, the same male gaze that made her a star. Uh, the first time I ever saw her was her standing there butt naked in Martin Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street that came out in 2013. Okay, so it's the male gaze that made Margot Robbie a star. Of course, she's such a big star now, she doesn't need the male gaze anymore, and also she is getting older. At a certain point, the male gaze won't be turning her way. In fact, th that's not too far away. If she's not hit the wall yet, she will. She will, they all do. Um, anyway, so Margot Robbie clearly doesn't... Uh, it clearly is a uh, is a feminist, a crazed, rabid feminist, as I said. And uh, she wants to avoid the male gaze, apparently. Um, which is why she's wearing skimpy outfits in Barbie the movie. Anyway, uh, so I knew this would be the case. Uh, I actually thought it wouldn't be um, a big hit. I thought it would flop. So I was wrong there. As I say, we all have blind spots, but what I didn't miss in that first trailer and the fact it stars Margot Robbie is that it would be a man-hating movie which it apparently is and beyond any of our wildest expectations and now there are a couple of uh, other things uh, with Margot Robbie um, a couple of other things with Margot Robbie that um, mark her out as, a, as someone that would star in a film like this again she's already starred in um, Birds of Prey uh, yeah, her Harley Quinn movie which was a huge commercial failure um, and uh, she's Australian now Australian women strike me as being very much like English women in their attitudes and demeanours that is not a good thing okay They're, they strike me as being very similar um, and as I say she's clearly a, a feminist uh, and a Hollywood feminist at that which means she never shuts up about it and she has a platform in which to uh, stand uh, on which to stand and uh, shout her mouth off constantly. Again, talk about biting the hand that feeds you, but at this point, it isn't men buying tickets to watch her films. I Yes, there'll be plenty of blue pill, beta, male feminist and, yeah, type guys going to watch this film, um, but men that actually have men, that actually have taste in films, uh, good taste in films, 
I'm not going to be going to watch uh, the Barbie movie, but it's still, um, or Barbie the movie, um, but it's still uh, doing very, very well. More, uh, it's what, doing better than I thought it would do. It's it's going to be a massive hit. It's already a massive hit. Now, a couple of uh, females that I'm related to, adult females, are, are gleefully looking forward to this movie, and it sounds like it will be right up their street. It looks like it, it will be right up their street. Um, uh, one of them already has her ticket booked. She's going with two of her friends. I'm going to guess at least one of those is a male. Uh, and if it's a male, the male that I think it is, yes, he's a friend zone beta. Um, so, <laughs> of course, I, my guess is he's one of the two going with her. I don't care and I'm not going to ask her about the movie. Um, and the other adult female relative of mine who's gleefully looking forward to it, uh, I assume is going to watch it on streaming, uh, possibly as soon as it's up to rent. Um Again, it doesn't surprise me. It, it, it's also a bad sign, although, you know, we know the score at this point, um, that something that is clearly hating on men, belittling men, putting men down, shitting on men, is a huge hit. And there are kids being taken to see this, young female kids being taken to see this, and young females in general going to see this. It's going to add more fuel to the fire that tells them, uh, this message that tells them that men are keeping them down and men are oppressing them. I've got videos on that. I've got multiple videos on that. Women are not oppressed by men. I have two videos on that. I say my, I will say my most important video or one of my most important videos on this channel is about the fact that women aren't oppressed by men at all. Um, that is, uh, I have other videos on that subject. Go and check out my other videos. They're great. Um, and also, yeah, again, it, it, again, it's just adding more fuel to the fire that men are bad, that we're bad, we're the bad guys, we're villains, especially straight men, we're the villains, uh, straight men such as myself, we're the villains, we're keeping women down, we're oppressing them. So there's a whole movie now shitting on us, gleefully starring Margot Robbie of all people. Not a surprise, she's the, the latest and biggest crazed, rabid, man-hating Hollywood crazy feminist she's the biggest and the you know the most high profile of the lot she's gone past she's shot past Charlize Theron at this point uh, she's the worst of the worst for this um absolutely terrible you know there are others but she's the uh you know f the main the main woman at this point also what is Ryan Gosling doing in this I didn't know he was in this until yesterday um Ryan Gosling does not need the money that just leads me to assume that he is uh, also a crazy Hollywood person Probably, in fact, almost definitely a male feminist, woke, an SJW, all of this nonsense. Nearly all these Hollywood people are ridiculous, crazy people. I can't take them seriously. I don't take them seriously. I don't like nearly anything that comes out of Hollywood at this point, which is a shame because going to the cinema is one of my favourite things to do, but I won't go and watch the crap that's coming out. I occasionally go and watch something. I'd go far more frequently if there were more good films coming out, but there aren't. And I'm not going to go and sit and watch crap and go and watch, sit and watch crap that's going to insult me, spend my money to sit and watch films that are openly insulting to me as a straight white man, basically. You know, um, there are three things that they can, these films can use against me. I'm straight, I'm white, and I'm a man. Jeez, I mean, straight away, I'm the devil as far as Hollywood is concerned. So they're not going to get my fucking money at this point. As I say, good films come out, I'll go and watch them at the cinema. I'll go and watch them opening weekend. I love going to the cinema, but only when it's to watch something at least half decent. It isn't openly shitting on me. Um, and back to Ryan Gosling, you know what? He's in The Notebook, so it doesn't surprise me that he'd be in something like this. The Notebook is... Uh, <laughs> I haven't got a video on it, and I'm just going to cover it here. The Notebook is appalling. Um... The Notebook is it's just ridiculous. It's a ridiculous movie. Um, women that like The Notebook, that's a huge red flag. There's a little bonus for you. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Barbie the movie. Uh, if you like the video, uh, hit the like button and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you know anyone you think might get something from it, share it with them. Subscribe and when you do, ring the notification bell and feel free to leave a comment. If it's respectful, I'll reply. If it isn't, I almost definitely won't. This is Benji80 on Benji80 England. I'll see you next time.